Today we have something that I'm hoping is gonna be great. It could also be really bad, but we're gonna find out. We do have an oscillating tower fan, so it'll be turning around if you want it to, blowing air all around the house. Well, all around the room. It's not that big. It's about 16 inches in length or height, you know, whatever. Right now it's length. If we just put it up like this. Height, length, width, you know, you know the different things. So we got the tower fan here. It's bladeless, and let's see what we're working with in here. Inside the box, we have a user guide, as well as a nicely packed fan. If I can get it out of here. All right, it's actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting. I know it's 16 inches, but I thought it was gonna be tiny. I mean, I think it's for a desk, maybe. It's not like one of those big ones that you put in a room. Get all this stuff out the way. Get this plastic out of here. The price of this was pretty cheap too, so I'm kind of curious if it's gonna be doing a good job. All right, so on the bottom we do have some foam feet, which slide but I guess it's better than nothing although rubberized feet would definitely be a lot better and here's what we're working with on the front we do have six different modes on the left we have three modes that'll just go straight one two and three you know different intensities and on the right side you can have it oscillating back and forth at like 60 degrees so that's pretty cool and that's it this is the power I would rather have buttons but I guess for the price it's cool to just have a little dial like that and then we're just looking at the bladeless design, or does that count as a blade? I don't even know. That's kind of a blade, just more of a vertical blade. But now we got it plugged into some power. Let's put it to the test. So we're gonna just start with it blowing right in my face, which, oh, this part's right here that oscillates, so let's just turn it on. Oh, it's starting to spin up, look at that. Oh, it's really quiet. I don't hear anything. I barely feel anything, so that's, oh, it comes out over here? Where's it come out of, right here? Somewhere like that, let's see. Let's turn it up. Okay, I have it all the way up and it's really quiet. Where does the air come from, right here? Okay, so it's coming from right here. It's not really directly in the center, it's kind of weird. It doesn't come from the back at all, just from right here in the front. Um, I mean, I mean, if you're gonna have it on your desk facing you like this, it's cool, but I mean, Right there, it still feels good, but you know, it's not, I mean, it's not really for a big room, but let's turn it on to isolating, oscillating. As you can see, it is turning now. So the air is blowing over here. Do I have a piece of plastic? Okay, now it should start turning back. Oh, uh, and as you can see, the air is coming back toward me, so it's not blowing over there. But if I go like this, you can see where it is. Now it's moving away again. You know, it's doing a good job. It's very quiet. I'm impressed with that. It's not the most powerful fan in the world. But for the price, I think it's definitely worth it. If you just want it on your desk. Now, if you wanted to do your whole room, you should probably upgrade to a more expensive, bigger version. Well, you know, it's not bad and it's extremely quiet. Here, take a listen for yourself. Like, you can barely hear it. Like, if you start doing other stuff, you're going to completely forget it's there. So it's doing a good job, Dr. Prepare. You've prepared my desk for the forthcoming summertime. Yeah, if you guys want a desktop van, I mean, it's not bad.